offense and then being able to focus on getting some pressure on the quarterback in the second half of games. Why have you had so much success against the run as a team? Um, I feel like everybody's doing their job. I mean, there's nothing bigger than that. Uh, everybody understands that they have one job, and that's to do their job, and we've been doing it, and it's, it's been working for us. Is getting Ray, Ray back a big help for that because he's so good against the run? Itself. Right, yeah, no, nah, Ray's a, he's a really good player, and so, <laughs> I mean, it speaks for itself. So. Does it feel good to be at the top of the Big 12 in total defense and rush defense? Oh, uh, it, it does, but we got a lot of, we got a lot of games left, so hopefully we can keep it up. You're going to face a elusive running back this week in Puka Williams. Right. A little smaller, but still tough. Um, what kind of challenges does that present? Oh, like I said, they have a very good running back core, and Puka Williams being, I mean, just watching him on film, he's very dynamic out of the backfield when he has the ball in his hand. So we really got to focus on him because he really can't change the face of the game. So. Coach Campbell compares him to some of the best running backs in the in the league. You right. Agree? Why is that? Uh, he's he's so dynamic. Like he's he's so quick, and when he gets the ball in his hand, he, he just trying to score every time. I feel like so that's what makes him so dynamic. With the rest of the offense, what can they when he's running well? I mean, what does that open up for them? Uh, play action pass stuff like that. Um, opens up really their offense. From what you've seen, Kansas, why are, why are they better? This year than they have been in years past. Um, I just feel like they're more talented at each position. I mean, they got good running backs, they got good receivers, they got good safeties, D linemen. So overall, collectively, they've they've grown um, all over. In years past, Kansas has been a team that occasionally Iowa State can you know play not a hundred percent and beat. Can that happen this year? Um, nah. Uh, I feel like we got to be on on our stuff this week. Uh, got to have a good good game on offense, defense, and special teams in order to get the win uh, at a very hostile place. Are you guys aware of what's out there for this team? Uh, yes, we are. But like I said, we're going to take it one day at a time and focus on. I Kansas. get that, but when you're right. hanging out, you know, apartments or whatever, it's got to it's got to come off. No, I mean you think about it here and there, but it's not really a focal point. At least for me, it's not. I mean, you know the breakdown of right. what has to happen. I'm right. sure you do. Yeah. I'm just trying not to lose, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to win out. So. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, put yourself in a fan's perspective. I mean, they haven't seen this right. since 2004. Right. right. No, yeah. You trying may not have even been born yet. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, are, you, are you happy for them? That they oh, yeah. To be able to play those games and kind of look oh, yeah, ahead yeah. and all that? Of course. Of course I am. I mean, it's something no one's ever experienced. And something I haven't experienced ever since I've been here, so that it'll be a great deal if we can pull it off. Mm -hmm. How much do you feel like you're in a better position this season to, to finish strong and maybe not run out of gas a little bit? I feel like we have a lot more depth, and that'll help down the stretch. Yes, I do. You no, know, Coach Haycock said like Tuesday night after practice, mm -hmm. 